بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Hello brother and sisters how are you In today's lesson I would like to show you how we can create parametric window classic window so I want today I want to make families for that and after that we are going to use it in our project so go to from families go to new and uh, this is English I want to uh, go back one folder and use English the last one is a metric window or I can use a um, metric window with trim but I will use this one okay so as you see uh, uh, this is the parameters uh, with it uh, is one meter and if we go to exterior side you see the height and uh, the uh, default uh, cell height is uh, set and to change uh, them uh, for example uh, the width uh, I want to make it to meter the height is 180 and uh, this height let's say 500 or uh, 400 whatever you prefer okay that's very good after that what I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, extrusion and I will make this extrusion just like this and I will fix all of these here after that I want to use uh, offset from the offset let's say 400, uh, 40 we have 40 so uh, we'll use this one and after that trim and extend for this Trim and extend, trim and extend, trim and extend. Okay, that's very good. Uh, I will I will uh, use later or um, parameter uh, these parameters. So uh, this should be uh, parametric so as to be fixed with this one. I will I'll show you later, uh, this one later. Uh, again, I want to make one panel here and maybe two panel here okay just like this if you look at I didn't uh, set the dimension because I want to measure from this point to this point to this point to this point continue after that click here uh, to be equal these dimensions will be equal after that you can delete uh, this uh, one no problem okay so again uh, offset we have 40 so uh, this time 20 because 20 at each uh, side will be 40 okay 20 at each side will be 40 so we need just like this yeah so I will delete the middle uh, lines now just select and delete select and delete select and delete yeah okay after that SL for split uh, lines just like this I have to split all the lines from here, from this side, from this side, this one. And after that, use trim and extent. Be sure that trim extent for the inner side, not for the outer side, so you will not lose this. Uh, proper lines think now everything is finished so just click finish now everything is finished go to uh, right side and bring uh, this back to the middle and this one also you see uh, there's uh, 135 let's say uh, 110 if we set this 110 apply it 
you see now it's uh, this one is 10 millimeters or maybe uh, this is 90 now is uh, it's two centimeter I think is enough or you, we can just set it to uh, 40 and this one 100 uh, 20 so now is uh, 4 centimeters we have okay that's very good go to exterior uh, go back to the exterior view and now uh, I'm going to use another extrusion for uh, this time uh, for the panels or for the glasses let's say I will not make this uh, family pa parametric okay I will, I will uh, make another family uh, for the curved one I will make that one uh, let's say parametric okay so I don't want to use uh, uh, parametric uh, for this one so just uh, we set it to 10 millimeters maybe and apply it after that go back to the left view or right view no problem as you see here we can use this one and this one as well as you see uh, this one let's say 95 uh, or uh, 105 this one is 95 and apply see now we have a glass uh, with 10 millimeters again we can click here we can use this glass or we can uh, choose any material right click duplicate it no problem just uh, go to glass from here uh, from the asset uh, here I'm just writing glass so it brings me the glass material from this one maybe this one or this one whatever I need I can bring it and apply it and let's say okay go to 3d view fine shaded or elastic as you see now you we have uh, this kind of glass yeah so it's just like this after that what I'm going to do I'm going to make uh, some classic decoration from bottom and uh, to the top and uh, for this I can what I can do I can go to uh, a right view okay so this exterior and I'm going to insert uh, or before uh, I want to set a plate pick a plane okay this plane just top yeah this plane and I can say show I can click uh, here and I can make it bigger so it shows me the uh, the grid uh, after that what I can do I can go to insert uh, import card and I will bring the file that I uh, prepared before okay we learned how we we, we can make uh, this one with the coordinates uh, in the uh, previous lesson uh, so what I'm doing now I'm just uh, select this one go to uh, the type as you see here is the scale factor is, is one let's say 10 and we see apply it now okay I think 10 is work for us for this uh, one uh, I can just use a line tool for aligning uh, this and, uh, yeah this is the wall so I have to use the line tool uh, so just align it it's just above the, the the window I can cancel it I can make it uh, higher whatever I, I need anyhow and I will uh, bring this one also to this side by using a row key on the keyboard or maybe if I could use a line um, uh, sorry uh, yeah I think now is okay 
and what I'm doing now I'm just go to uh, create extrusion and pick planes uh, pick lines sorry I'm just picking some of these lines or uh, all of these lines not some of it you can just uh, if uh, it doesn't show you for example like this you can just tap to bring you this line okay again for the bottom part tap you see tab just like this and after that finish uh, or uh, select the rest of the lines just click finish and go to 3d view as you see it's just like this we can make it uh, larger of course we have to make it larger Uh, here the extrusion we can just uh, change it a little bit and after that we can change from this side but what I need I need or I want to I want to put this one uh, a distance from each side left and right so for this I will, I will go to uh, exterior and I will make two planes okay and so create reference plane I'll make two reference planes just like this and after that just make something like this after that what I'm going uh, to skip two times select this one control press control on keyboard select this one and uh, make a parameter let's say ex extension just click OK uh, for the extension just select this one you see here I can just click here and uh, lock it in place and this one lock it in place now uh, I can uh, say extension for and this I think is okay 400 no problem go to 3d view now I have uh, this kind of uh, window if I increase or decrease the, the extrusion of this one it will increase and decrease uh, for this uh, by the way of course I can I can make something else uh, which is I can put some columns here if I want of course if I want uh, but uh, for this what I'm going to do we can have to go to ex uh, exterior view and again uh, create uh, create by extrusion and let's try to something like a rectangle something like this I want to lock in place uh, this one again for other side the same thing this one and like this one you can just say finish and how about uh, if we go to 3 which is something like this okay uh, the extrusion start is say 200 I'm sorry this one is 0 the end is let's say 200 or I can go to right side and bring it up here and this one here let's say we want uh, this one from this side so I will uh, lock this one but other side maybe maybe extend it uh, a little bit no problem uh, so let's say minus I don't know if I say minus 50 maybe it's okay 
I think it's okay now and if you go to 3 again you see something like this but it's not cool uh, so for that I'm going to uh, exterior and I will uh, what I'm doing I will uh, I can say uh, edit extrusion and I can make some uh, rectangles here for uh, like voids and what I'm doing uh, first of all select this one and set the distance let's say 40 and this distance uh, I don't know again maybe 40 this distance 40 and this one also 40 so what I'm doing now I will just uh, select everything here and I will copy it for a couple of times and I can use uh, multiple as you see here we have this problem uh, so what I'm going to do I'm just going to move uh, this one with all of it it's just like this after that I can copy it to the other side I can uh, do this by this way uh, continue uh, yeah I have to finish this one okay. it's just like this finish I'm going to look at from the 3d view it shows me something like this if I don't want to uh, or um, these voids all the way I can use voids for that okay or if I don't want uh, something here, uh, this if I uh, this is too uh, too much, I can uh, make it smaller. This one, okay. Or uh, again, I can. Or what I can do, I can just go to uh, ext extrusion and move it. Remove constraint. I want to remove it the constriction okay for something like this uh, let me delete this one first I want to work with this one after that uh, I will make an, uh, I will copy that uh, this one to that one okay just delete this one again Let me finish it first and the extension I want to make it 200 maybe is enough this one apply an OK ok after that extrusion I want to uh, fix this problem that I have just delete this, this one and make this one maybe 20 or 30 select these lines control these lines again copy I'm sorry I have to select everything copy If we take the distance between these two is a 20 so I want to make it 40 uh, for this purpose I have to move this one uh, let me first this one uh, yeah this one is also 20 so I want to select everything move 
remove it this one by 20 or right. I'll make another thing uh, I'll select everything and move it by 10 so it's to be in the in the middle I think now is good and what uh, we have re okay. just finish it oh sorry we have to copy it for the other side okay just select this one and click copy from this side to other side finished just like this if we go to 3d uh, we see something like uh, this okay this is cool but uh, what we need uh, here I think I have to put it in extrusion and go to exterior view I have yeah okay no problem with this one so uh, what I can do I can make uh, uh, like something like a shape here or uh, let me make an extrusion it's just like uh, uh, your design okay so the extrusion will be uh, 20 open it uh, sorry uh, finish it and after that set a plane uh, create reference plane tap tap or what I can do I can just go to 3d view uh, sorry you can uh, we want to be minus 20 this one I think is better so it goes outside and this will be zero apply another time what I can do I can put uh, some lines here uh, which again I am using uh, extrusion but not uh, this side let's set uh, this plane pick a plane okay this plane okay and again I am going to use extrusion and uh, go to right side uh, and what I want to make I want to make something like uh, don't know And finish it and go to extra side don't know if it's nice or not I think uh, it's nice or I can just delete this one this part and change the extrusion for this one to the yeah, to up to this level, and uh, what I'm going to do after that, I'll select this one and copy it. Copy one time for the other side, and I think now we have uh, this thing that we want. This classic window, you see. We have this design and uh, what we are going to do we're going to just go to save and go to the folder that uh, we are always using this one for projects whereas projects and Revit uh, classic design course let's say this one family and 
straight window or classic straight window classic straight window right here classic window just save it like this so now it is very good and we can just click save and uh, the next uh, lesson I will make uh, another one but it's a curved uh, a curved one okay a curved window with also with a classic uh, with cl uh, classic uh, decoration and cornish